Okay, so we're gonna have some kind of spooky lighting going on here because I'm going for a walk because it is finally cool enough to be able to do that. Uh, I've <laughs> gained a few pounds <laughs> because I have not been exercising because it has been freaking hot outside. And I've let my homework load get the best of me and uh, if use the heat as an excuse and I needed to go for a dang walk <laughs> uh, you know stress relief and all that so here I am out here going for a walk and I was thinking about the video I made earlier today and I've been kind of watching it just to see hey you know what do I look like on film um well <laughs> You know, obviously I could stand up a little bit straighter, but aside from that, it made me think about, you know how we have our, our TikTok videos, right? We've got our, uh, Facebook shorts, we've got our Facebook reels or whatever the heck they are. We've got a bunch of really short media clips. We've got TV that cuts from scene to scene and it's also very scripted. And it seems like whatever content we are creating or are supposed to create, it has to be polished and it has to be exactly so and you can't do this and you can't do that. And you can't have this. <laughs> that's not real life it's not authentic and here's the thing is you know when I post these videos with all of my derps and my pauses and my less than flattering whatever I, you know what that is is it's really, whenever I post a video and I talk about stuff, it's just an invitation to hang out. It's an invitation to spend some time with me. And that's not, you know, the, the time that somebody spends with me is not going to be polished. It's not going to be perfect. <laughs> You're going to have the gaps. You're going to have the ums and the uhs and the goofy, you know, whatever. I don't want to sit here and edit myself to try to make myself more interesting for anybody. That's just not, not, not something I'm interested in doing. And, uh, You know, if you want to hang out with me, hang out with me. The good stuff and the maybe not quite so interesting stuff, that's just, that's what it's like. We, when we hang out, we don't have the highlight reels. You know, it's all just real time. Just hang out with me, you know? Spend some time with me. The way that our media is set up is... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, <laughs> I think somebody's probably in trouble. Uh, yeah, the, the way it's all set up is, is is very counter to connection. Because for connection, we have to be able to be right there in the moment, even when it's not absolutely... Uh, riveting, you know, the ability to stay present and to not, you know, pick up our phones and start scrolling on Facebook when we're spending time with somebody. We've gotten so addicted to that. It's terrible. I see it everywhere. I see people with their faces in their phones everywhere. And very few people are actually talking to each other. It's become this 
epidemic of isolation and these these cropped and edited videos are not helping that because they're getting us to only pay attention to, to things that are short and quick and and like I said before highlight real stuff and that's not real life oh there's a culvert down there. Something died in there. Oh, not cool. <laughs> oh, it does not smell good. Uh, and it's, it's stuff, it's just stuff like that where I don't know. You gotta take all of life. You gotta, you gotta be present in the moment. You gotta learn to have patience, and, and that's that can be so tough for us, especially with how conditioned we are to the minute-long videos, the thirty-second-long videos, the super action sequence movies, <laughs> where what is holding our attention? What is able to hold our attention? What are we actually able to pay attention to? <sighs> I... <sighs> I get, you know, my videos aren't the most engaging out there. But I'm not going for views. I'm going for the people who actually watch them. <laughs> uh... The people who want to just spend time with me, they aren't necessarily always going to be profound or fun or funny videos. They're just slice of life stuff. And that's not for everybody. And <laughs> that's fine. But there are a few people who I do these videos for. And all of them are important to me. Because I, I want to share at least some of my life. Uh, and I can't necessarily do that in other ways. So, this is what it's like to hang out and spend time with me sometimes. I, I haven't gotten a video... I guess where I'm really on a roll about something, maybe I've come across a couple times, but I guess it's just life has its awkward pauses, it has its moments, it has its, uh, what was I doing again? What was I thinking? What was I, uh, there, where did I put the thing? You know, so... I feel like it's fair to put that, you know, leave that in my videos. <sighs> True to life, you know. I'm not I'm not interested in just sharing the quote unquote best parts. I'm not interested in you know making myself look super interesting or super cool or whatever. I'm just me, you know. <laughs> That's literally it. I'm just me. And I'm just out here <laughs> going for a walk, you know? I'm, uh, oh, I hit autofocus on a circuit, certain spot. Uh oh, I could turn that off. It's little stuff like that. You know, I'm not a professional video maker. It's, it's whatever, you know? But it's like the home movies that, you know, none of it's scripted. None of it's super edited for content. It's just real. It's just capturing what's right there, right then. And I'm not, I'm not going to make a movie. You know, I'm not going to make a, a show. I'm not going to make myself seem like I'm more interesting than I am. Or 
polished than I am because, hey, you know, let's face it, I'm kind of, kind of a little bit of a hot mess, uh, <laughs> but not disastrously so. Oh, I'm starting to warm up a little bit here. An osprey nest coming up here. I don't want to bug the birds too much. Marmots off to the side. But, yeah, I guess that's just kind of my thing for tonight is... You know, uh, somebody may critique me for the content or what have you of my videos, but that's okay. If they do, then it's not for them. So, I guess if you're watching this, then uh, you're probably supposed to be. <laughs> um, and it's probably because you know me as a person or you're, you know, just interested in whatever I'm talking about or whatever I'm doing, uh, for whatever reason, but I don't know, I guess the, uh, the authenticity bit is where it's at for me. So I'm, uh, turning around and heading back here because, uh, <laughs> getting back by housing. I don't, I don't want to be talking while I'm next to people's houses at like 10.30 at night, I guess. Uh, <laughs> not really the thing on my agenda. But that being said, yeah. So I guess that's just kind of what to expect if you're watching my videos, because you know, I might might take some cool videos and some other stuff, but mostly it's just going to be slice of life. It's not going to be edited for super duper interesting content. It's not going to be edited for what people might want to see, what might be polished, what might be professional or best practices or, yeah, no, we're doing, you know, we're doing home movie type stuff here. So, uh, Dear Diary, you know, um, and like I said, it's uh, probably not for the widest audience, but that's what it is. <laughs>